Hi, Emily. For your letter, I wanted to make a small list of things that I love about you. Emily, I love that you are resilient. You never let a single problem bother you for too long because you're already looking for a new solution. I love that you are an optimist. You can always find a good lesson in any experience and you never get stuck thinking, what if? I love doing yoga with you. I wouldn't be able to say that if it weren't for you showing me the way in yoga. As much as we credit Adrian for her videos, you deserve to be recognized for how good of a yoga teacher you are to be. <laughs> I love that you help me connect with my emotional self and help me realize why I'm feeling cranky or sad. I love doing K-pop dance exercises with you. I love that you say you love Phil Collins' music, but we ended up inexplicably listening to only the Tarzan soundtrack. It's way too true. I love how amazing you are with languages. You are not only amazing with languages, but amazing at communicating on a human level with people of those cultures. I love that you still laugh at my dumb jokes. I love how fiercely independent you are. I love that it doesn't matter whether we are half a world apart or half a living room apart, we can still make it work. I never met anyone that makes me feel the way I do about you. You continue to amaze me every day, and I am still learning new things that I love about you all the time. Emily, I love you so much, and I can't wait to see where this next chapter in our lives takes us. I love you forever and ever, John. John, before we take our first looks, let's take a moment to picture each other. When I think of you, my heart swells with pride. I think of all you have accomplished, small and large, and the person you've become. I think of how we crack the same non-funny joke in reference to a classic 2000s movie. I think it's Nacho Libre. <laughs> I think of how you make me laugh even when I'm mad and I don't want to. How I accidentally punch you in the middle of the night. Your first dazed words are always, are you okay? <laughs> I think of how you're always willing to film my water bottle even when I'm perfectly able to. How you still cover your eyes when you fetch things for me and I'm in the bath. I'm so unbelievably lucky to have to get to spend my life with someone who encourages me to be my best and challenges me to keep raising my standards for myself. I'm proud to be with someone who is always growing and learning, who doesn't take themselves too seriously, and who has taught me to, t to slow down a little and enjoy the ride. That someone has always been you and always will be. I love you, Emily. Over the course of our almost eight year relationship, I've gotten to know you countless times. We've experienced the double-edged sword of long distance in all varieties and durations. For some, that would be the end. For us, it meant innumerable new beginnings, chances to grow as individuals, and consequently, to rediscover each other at each reunion, and then fall in love just as hard as the first time. I promise to always surprise you to look at you with fresh eyes each morning and to lead you to adventure and discovery. I promise to follow you when you take my hand. I promise to love you forever. If you're going, I'm going. I love you. Give me your long shifts at work, your lost phones, and your cold hands when you cuddle in bed. <laughs> Give me your bad days and your good days. I promise to be by your side through all of it, and I'll always be your biggest supporter. I promise to always be close by, whether we are in half a room apart or half a world apart. 
I promise to be patient, understanding, and a better listener. You help me come back down to earth when I get lost with my head in the clouds. Emily, I love you with all my heart, and I can't wait to see what adventure awaits us. Please join hands and look at one another now, and remember this moment in time. John, do you take Emily to be your wife? I do. Emily, do you take John to be your husband? I do. John and Emily, you have come here today of your own free will and in the presence of family and friends, declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now <laughs> kiss her. Saw you through a window You were with somebody But you look so damn alone So I sent a message Asked you how life has been I am braver through the phone It's been a long time Since you were all mine In the wilderness That's where I've been After a long night some red wine Could you see me like that? Do you see me like that? Get with 